Here is a very interesting problem and it's of one kind in this set of videos. So I'd like you to go through it very carefully and understand. So we are still talking about velocity application of vectors and we are dealing with pool, water and swimmers. A swimmer who swims 4 meters per second in a pool is swimming in a river with a current of 1.5 meters per second. The swimmer is heading in a direction of 30 degrees from upstream. She starts from a dock on one side of the river and 12 minutes later she arrives at the other side of the river. Draw a vector diagram. Find velocity of the swimmer relative to the river bank. How far does the swimmer swim? How wide is the river? So this question is quite different from most of the questions we have done so far. I hope you appreciate that. So first part is to draw a vector diagram. So let's read it once again. A swimmer who swims 4 meters per second in a pool is swimming in a river with a current of 1.5 meters per second. So we are given the velocity of the water, which is downstream, right? And the velocity of the swimmer, which is at an angle upstream. The swimmer is heading in a direction 30 degrees from upstream, right? So I have made a vector diagram here for you. So let this O is the starting point, And that is the direction in which the swimmer is heading at a velocity of 4 meters per second. And the water is flowing downwards with 1.5 meters per second and the angle with the north which the swimmer makes is 30 degrees right so if we extend this that is 30 degrees correct that is the angle the swimmer is heading in a direction 30 degrees upstream so from north it is 30 degrees upstream right so 30 degrees is vertically opposite so in this triangle we got 30 degrees. Now the critical point here is she starts from a dock on one side of the river and 12 minutes later she arrives at the other side of the river. We don't know where. So we'll just assume a point 12 minutes later she arrives. That's it. So let's say point B is where she finally arrives. So starting from O heading towards A at a 30 degrees angle she arrives at B. So we get this triangle here in which this long side is 4 meters per second vertically down is 1.5 meters per second is the velocity of the water current correct and then we have a triangle so let this angle be theta for us now we can connect this to the bank and we say, well, this is our horizontal line. So that point C is directly across, right? So if we consider this right triangle, in that case, the total angle AOC will be 60 degrees, right? This is 30, 90, 60, correct? So we have this big triangle here also. Now, to find velocity of the swimmer relative to the bank, so that is the velocity of the swimmer relative to the bank VR. So let's calculate this velocity. Now you will see that in this particular diagram, you are given two sides and included angle. So whenever you have two sides and included angle, what should you use? Cosine law, correct? So we'll apply cosine law and figure out the velocity VR. So say we are the velocity of the swimmer is equal to square root of what all square of the sides plus 1.5 square minus 2 times the sides times cos of angle in between right so these were the two sides and angle is 30 degrees that's it. So use your calculator to find the answer. So we say square root of within brackets 
4 square plus 1.5 square minus 2 times 4 times 1.5 times cos of 30 degrees bracket close equal to. So we get 2.8031803 whatever so you will write 2.8 here. So we get a velocity of equal to so let me write in different name right equals to 2.8 and the unit is meters per second right that's what we get here. Now the second part is this is the magnitude of velocity which is represented by OB in this triangle OAB correct we use cosine law to find that now let's find the angle theta to find angle theta we will use sine law right so we have sine theta over the opposite side of 4 equals to sine of 30 degrees over the opposite side of VR which we just calculated which is 2.8 right so from here we can find what theta is correct so we have theta equals to sine inverse of 4 over 2.8 times sine of 30 degrees correct and let's use calculator second function sine inverse bracket open so we have 4 divided by 2.8 times sine of 30 degrees bracket close equal to so we get 45.58 so I'll write 45.58 as approximately 45.6 so this angle theta is 45.6 for us right so the question is find velocity of the swimmer relative to the river bank right so now this is your initial velocity which was in the pool and that is your relative velocity right now to find this velocity we can define this velocity with from north right so we can say it is from north so many degrees correct so how can you write it so a couple of ways you can also find so let's write down the direction so the the velocity it is heading towards it is west so many degrees so let me write from north let me write it here itself so the direction is from north 45.6 degrees west right so that is one way of writing it so we'll write like that now the second part is how far does the swimmer swim how far means we have to find this distance so how do you find this distance so we'll use distance speed time graph correct so we know she starts from a dock on one side of the river and 12 minutes later she arrives at the other side right 12 minutes later so the time here is she swims for 12 minutes so t is 12 minutes right which is equals to 12 times 60 seconds right so that is the time taken for her to swim and the velocity was the magnitude 2.8 meters per second right and we know velocity is 2.8 meters per second and therefore distance will be equals to velocity into time right so this is 2.8 times 12 times 60 and when you multiply 2.8 times 12 times 60 you get 2016 2016 meters right so is approximately 2 kilometers so that is your answer so she swims approximately two kilometers right or it is around two zero one six meters right how wide is the river that's the next question to find the width of the river we will find the length of 
OC, correct? That will give us width of the river, correct? Now, for that, what we can do is, now we know this is 60 degrees, right? So here we have a triangle which has 60 degrees here, and we know the hypotenuse of this triangle, and that's a right triangle, correct? And we can convert this meters per second into distance, correct? It is 4 meters per second. If I multiply 4 meters per second by our time, which is 12 into 60, then I get this distance. So we say OA, I mean the distance, is actually 4 meters, right? Times 12 minutes. So let me write 12 times 60. Is that okay? So that is this distance. Now we know this distance. We know this angle is 60 degrees. And that's the right triangle. So we can use cosine, right? To find what is the distance OC, correct? So we say OC is equal to 4 times 12 times 60, all this, right? 4 times 12 times 60, that is this distance. I'm not drawing a separate diagram, which I should, right? But since you know velocity and distance are directly proportional, I'm using the same diagram, but I'm writing the units separately, correct? So my diagram will look exactly like this. The only thing is I'll replace 4 meters per second with so many meters, right? And then I'm trying to calculate OC. That is that is all. And that times cos of 60 degrees. Let me use the calculator and figure it out. So it's like 4 times 12 times 60 cos of 60 gives me 1440. So I get an answer of 1440 meters, right? So 1440 is OC. That is the width of the river, right? So it is around 1440 meters, the width of the river. Well, this is a very interesting question which I have seen in the test papers and it has all the interesting components. We are not telling you that where she landed, right? So you have to figure out where she actually landed. You have to figure out the width of the river, right? And we are giving you time during which she could reach the other side of the river. So have a good look at this, try to understand this question and then move forward. Thanks and all the best.